IEEE 519 is a recommended standard to help reduce the negative impacts of nonlinear loads on electronics and control systems on the same grid as the source of harmonic distortion. Many industries across the world use variable frequency drives, known as VFDs, to control the electrical power needed to run motors, pumps, and other mechanical systems. While VFDs can help efficiency, the total harmonic distortion that is produced exceeds the limits set out in the IEEE 519 standard. Harmonic distortions are electric voltages and currents on an electric power system that can cause power quality problems. They are created when equipment with nonlinear loads draws in abrupt short pulses. The principal recommendation of IEEE 519 is to set a total harmonic distortion limit of 5 to 8% to protect assets on the grid. Now let's address some of the other specifics of meeting the requirements of IEEE 519. First, we know that all variable speed drives, both AC and DC, meet the requirements in most installations. With some types of variable speed drives, like DC and current source inverters, it may be necessary to add an isolation transformer or AC line reactors between the source and drive to prevent interference with other electrical equipment. Meeting the requirements defined within IEEE 519 does not necessarily mean crossing every T and dotting every I without using common sense. Rather, it is a system evaluation that requires going beyond the easy approach of putting in bigger and more expensive equipment that isn't needed. We know that energy is limited and must be used efficiently. This standard is a means cutting down on less efficient and more expensive solutions when they aren't required for proper performance. The basic principle of IEEE 519 is to reduce interference between electrical equipment. The harmonic distortion limits of 5 to 8 percent are guides to achieving that result. Those who utilize IEEE 519 with that in mind will meet their responsibility of designing and specifying their electrical and control systems. For more tech tips and IEEE 519 solutions, stay tuned to GTV.